personal question for me. You guys uh, were the very lucky recipients of the greatest goalkeeper in MLS history. Yes. Um, just a little bit biased here as a goalkeeper and a Red Bull fan. Um, Luis is my favorite player of all time. How are you enjoying his presence just as a person? Because um, I know one of the things that always, you know, he was a great goalkeeper, right? And we all know that. But when you listen to him speak in the locker room, or even Adam and I got a chance to actually meet him um, at a meet and greet in New Jersey just before he left. Um, and it's just the way that he holds himself as a person that kind of makes you admire him as a, as a leader and as a captain and as a player. Uh, are you guys getting that same feeling with him down there? Absolutely. We were, like, the Siege already has a song about him. Uh, like, I won't sing it out loud. I think I'd rather do it at a game so you guys can really, uh, really see. Um, I think my, the moment I realized, like, this is our captain, that is our captain, he did an interview with one of our local podcasts. And the thing is that usually players talk, players speak. This, this guy, this man, was, there was a lot of coach in him. There was a lot of mentor in him. There was a lot of veteran in him. But all I heard was, like, this man is going to steal. Like, he's going to steal up his team. Like, the young guys on the team that don't know how to suffer through adversity. The guys who don't know MLS. The, the guys who are just trying to get going. Like, he's going to be the guy. And he's going to be the one that's going to get everybody focused and, 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 and moving forward. And if things go rough, he's going to be the one that will just stabilize us. In, in multiple ways. Obviously, as a goalkeeper, he's fantastic. But as a leader, he is where, like, this man is going to be, like, our Star Wars. Because right now the team is is a, is a big mix of uh, guys who haven't been in MLS, a lot of young guys, a lot of guys that may have been cast off from other teams. Like, he's the one guy that you – like, him and, and Roman Torres are the two guys you can definitely say, like, these guys know what they need to be doing. And – and obviously, there's that the, obviously the language barrier where like Lewis speaks English, Roman speaks Spanish, but like definitely got the vibe. And then uh, you got the vibe that Lewis wants to be the guy that people can count on. And I'll give you an example. So I went to our to our preseason match against the Tampa Bay Rowdies, right? And he sprinted about 15, 20 yards to get into the face of every single Rowdies player when they were trying to mess with one of his teammates. And I'm talking like. He was going to defend his teammate no matter what it cost him because that was more important to him than a red card, than getting penalized or anything because he didn't care about that. He's like, I'm setting up for my guy, for my guys, my team. And that and that plus hearing him speak and the way he, he just carries himself is like, this is the guy that, especially like myself and a lot of the members of the team were like, this is our guy. Like, that's our guy amongst the, amongst the entire roster. He's already become a fan favorite, in my opinion.